This is Dan Halsey with Southwoods. Thanks for uh, looking at this video. I just want to show you a short little uh, video of the strategy for formatting your plant lists. Now, at this point, you would have downloaded your Excel spreadsheet as a CSV file into Excel from the plant database. So you did your plant searches, you got your customized plant list that's on natural capital, and you've exported it to Excel on your computer. And this is what you get. So basically, it's all the information of all the plants that were on your list. Um, everything is on here, basically, except the soil type. But all the other information is on here, and you will save this when you save the name. You'll save the soil type and the zone and other information that you've uh, used for your search. But it's kind of a mess. So one of the things that we have available on the website at Natural Capital is a little template. And we just call this a Natural Capital List Download Formatting Template. Uh, this is number two that we have. And it's very simple. This is already formatted. So it's nice and, and clean and works well. So you select with the triangle here the whole page. Otherwise, you just have individuals selected. So you select everything and then copy that. Uh, it'd be either Control c or Command-C if you have a Mac. So copy that or go up to Edit and copy it there. Then go back to your downloaded file, select everything on that file, and then do a Paste Special. Now the only thing that you're going to use are the formats. You don't want to replace all your data so the values and the formulas and the content in your spreadsheet is going to remain the same. But this will reformat all the columns, right? Which this does. So now we have everything in here uh, formatted. We've got a few things that didn't happen, so we'll go back in here and fix that. Like I like the IDs and the spreads on here. These columns here are all centered. It makes it a little bit easier to read. Um, left formatted on text and those kinds of things. So that's uh, basically to reformat it. The next step is to get things in order so it's easier for them to find. And this is another videos too. So we go to data. Oops, here we go, data. And we're going to sort. And it's going to ask us how. And there are two different sorts we have, so we add another one. Uh, we first sort by plant type. That gets them all the trees together, all the shrubs together, and then we plant a uh, sort by scientific name. Because the common names are basically, you know, arbitrary names that somebody put on them, the only thing and the only way we can get all the ash basically to group together is if we order them by their scientific name. So we do that, and now we have all the annuals together, all the deciduous shrubs together, Deciduous trees, evergreen shrubs, evergreen trees, the grasses, perennials. Those are all grouped. makes it much easier to find those plants. And then they're ordered by scientific name, which puts them also by group. So here's the amorpha. You have lead plant and false indigo. If you did it by common name, they would be spread out in the list. But now you have them uh, by their uh, scientific name, and then they're grouped together. So, And then the rest of the information, of course, follows along with that. You always want to sort when you select all on these. And then the only other thing you want to do is do a save as, and then save it as, uh, like in this case, I'll do uh, Z4 because it's zone 4. And I have uh, uh, silt loam soils, and this is kind of the things that I remember. So zone 4, silt loam soils, and then this is the entire list. Sometimes it's just shrubs, things like that. And then I'll put the client name in and save it as an Excel spreadsheet. And the reason we do that is you want to get it into the native Excel file type. Otherwise, it's in a CSV file. And later on, you won't have You have to keep converting it back to Excel anyway. So that's how you format your plant list. Get ready to go. You know, the other thing I want to mention, too, is once you've saved it, is what I like to do is select A, that whole column, and then insert a column on the left of that, and this is going to be your selection column. So 
the first thing I'll do is the plants that I do know is I will go down this list and I'll just start putting X's in the plants that I know I'm going to use. And then once I've gone through this a number of times, you can always do it a number of times uh, later also, is select and then sort, but sort by column A until you get all your selected plants at the top. So by this time now you have everything formatted. Uh, you have your plants ordered by type. You can easily find them by scientific name or common name. And then go back here and add a column and select all your new plants that you want to actually use from this potential list and then reorder the column A so they're all at the top. And then you can cut and paste that. Let me grab it here really quickly. Then you can cut and paste that into um, your list. Okay, I messed this up. By the way, if you want to make things disappear, that's the easy way to do it. There, get that number two back. So you can select one, two, three, four, five, up to 11, your plants that you want, all that you want to do, copy that, and then paste it into your documents, be it a Word document or uh, your artwork for your design. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and hope that helps a little bit in formatting your plant list to stay organized. It's very much the key. Get as much information as you can, find and keep what you need, and then keep it organized so you can find it when you want it. Take care. Hope you have a good rest of the day.